All right, so today we're going to apply some of what we learned in that measurement explanation video. And again, just as a review, I just want to emphasize that no measurement is absolutely accurate. The reason why it's not absolutely accurate is there's always, you know, some doubt. There's always some uncertainty. That last digit on the right is not known with total accuracy. And that's why we refer to it as a doubtful digit. Um, and due to this uncertainty, right, every measurement can only have a certain number of digits that we can write out. We'll get into that topic uh, next time. And the next topic we'll be talking about is significant figures and how we can determine how many significant figures in a measurement or a calculation. But for now, we just know that the last digit is a doubtful digit and there's always some level of uncertainty. So we're going to practice what we learned by looking at some of these different uh, potential measurements. So just assume that this is going all the way down, even though I'm not showing that. And we're going to look at our scale here. And just like before, we see between here and here, you know, the range is 0 0.5 uh, mils. And that there is exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those and that means that each graduation is 0.1 mil per graduation okay and we see that you know if we were in between somewhere right that we would be able to estimate one to the right right so one to the right if our graduations are to the point one mils if we go over one to the right we should be able to measure to the hundredths instead of the tenths mils okay so in this particular measurement it might be 28 point and we would think it's just 28.3 mils but we should be able to go to the right and it'd be 28.30 mils and the reason why we want to put that zero is to show that we're to the hundredths place with this measurement we want to make sure that we put the unit now in this particular measurement we're in whoops sorry about that we're between the eight and the nine degrees celsius so this particular measurement i would say it's 8.5 degrees celsius for the temperature in this particular measurement we see that the graduations are to the hundredths so the graduations or to the hundredths place, right? So 0 0.01 centimeter. So we can go one to the right, right? Go one to the right. And so we should be able to go to the thousands place. So this measurement, if we look at this graduation, it's 0 0.14 centimeter, right? If we go one to the right, it's much closer Right, we know it's between 0 0.14 and it's between 0 0.15 centimeters, right? But it's much closer to the 0 0.15. So my particular measurement, I'd probably say that this is 0. Point, I don't know what's doing that. 0 0.148 centimeters. That would be my final measurement here. If I had to do a confidence you know, interval, be plus or minus 0 0.001 centimeters. Why? Because I'm going to the thousands place because each graduation is the hundredths place and I'm going one over to the right.